If you just keep the Torah mitzvot, you will never going to find yourself. If you're not going to talk to the Creator and going to ask Him, who am I? What's the meaning for my life? What's the purpose of my life? What is my destiny? What is my goal? Who am I? How am I going to use my talents? What are my talents? What am I supposed to do in this world? If you're not going to talk to him about it, and every day you're going to ask yourself, is it right that I'm working in this business? Maybe I should change my direction. Maybe I should do this. Maybe I should do that. Who am I? Maybe I should learn on the things that I wanted to learn when I was young. Maybe I need to refresh myself. Am I happy to go every day in this direction? Maybe I need to make a change in my life. If you're not going to start talking to yourself, praying to Hashem Ibrach to help you, you will never going to find the roots of your soul. You can be so used to walk in patterns and in the regular ways of life like all people are that you can forget yourself very easily. Only if you're going to start fighting with your habits, with your laziness, with your fears. Only if you're going to wake up one morning and decide, I'm confronting my fears. I'm not letting them conquer my life. I'm not going to do things because I'm afraid. I'm going to start finding my real destiny. I want to be who that I am. I want to be happy for my life. I don't just want to be like others. I don't just want to be quiet and to be left alone. I want to achieve the purpose of my life. I don't want to give up on my dreams. I want to have goals in life and to achieve them and then to dream more until I'm going to achieve another thing and another thing and always to keep on growing. And I want to make people happy. I want to support people. I want to make people grow. I want to help them stabilize themselves. I want to share with my life experience, with the wisdom that I bought in life, things that I understood. So why am I afraid to talk? Why am I afraid to be who that I am? Why am I not sharing? Why am I not helping? Why am I not giving a hand? Why am I not helping people? If a person is going to be brave enough to look inside, to who that he wants to be, to who that he believed that he's supposed to be, it's going to upset him so much that he's not loyal to himself. He's going to feel so upset, so annoyed from the fact that he's supposed to do something great in life, that he's going to make a change. But before that you dare to look, before that you dare to confront your fears, to stand in front of the mirror and to say to yourself, you're lying to yourself for years. Ten years of your life, you lost. You were just working. You were just walking in your dreams. A dead man walking. Instead of being alive. Only when you're going to stand in front of that shame that you're not who that you are, and you're going to be brave enough to say, I betrayed myself. I was not loyal to myself. I was not standing for my inner truth enough. If you're not going to do that, you will never going to find the real truth of who you are. What is your real destiny? In what really you're good at? What really you can do? Which change you really can, can, can make in the world? How really you can become useful and helpful? First of all, we need to stand in front of the mirror of our soul and to talk to ourselves, to ask questions, and not to be afraid of the answers. And when you hear an embarrassing answer, don't be afraid to say, all right, let's see how I'm fixing it. Even if you feel like you ruin, even if you feel like you waste years of your life, so what? You can always do tshuva. Even in the last day of the life of a person, if he's doing a complete tshuva, he can fix 120 years in one tshuva. In one time that he came back to Hashem and he admitted to Hashem and he said, Hashem, I was lying to myself. I was too scared to be who that I am. I was too scared to say my opinion, to fight. I was too weak. Please give me powers. I don't want to lie to myself anymore. 
before you stand in front of yourself like that, you will never going to find who you are. So for that, we need to get used to that. To have a daily conversation with the Creator. It calls mitzvah tatfilah. To talk to the Creator like you talk to your best friend. Like you talk to someone that you know that He loves you. Like you talk to someone that you know that you can count on Him. That you can share. That you can open up yourself to Him. That you can explain Him exactly what you feel. Exactly your holy desires. And even what you're afraid of. And why you don't have the power to get rid of your bad habits. And why you're rather to hide and to sleep late and not to move. And not to rebuke and not to fight. If you're not going to admit on those things between you to yourself, you will never going to cross those borders. You will never going to go out from your, from your limitations. Only when you're going to decide, I want to set my soul free. I want to be who that I am, who that God made me to be. <coughs> Only then you're going to start understanding the messages of Hashem Barak, the hints, all of the wisdom that is surrounding you, the opportunities that you have, the options that you have to grow, to become to be who that you are. You can be an athlete that saved lives of thousands of people. You can be a police officer that's going to save thousands of thousands of people. You can be a soldier in the army. You can work in the library, the city library. And to be so nice and so kind to people that thousands of people in their lifetime are going to do tshuva because of your smile. You can work in a kindergarten, a secular kindergarten, as a nanny. And to change people's life. One generation after the next, one year after the other, to smile to the parents, to be positive, to show them how they can also love their children, how they can connect themselves to their children, to give them advice, to give them power. You can work in a grocery store to sell vegetables to people and to be a hidden righteous man in that place. You don't need to be a gaon. You don't need to be the purest one. You don't need to be a genius. You don't need to be anything. You just need to be who that you are. Who that you are is already a holy soul. Who that you are is already part of heaven. Who that you are is already a Jew. Who that you are is already an, a soul of Bnei Israel that got a purpose in life. Who that you are is already something so important and so beautiful that if you're just going to be aware to who that you are, you're just going to pour so much light. You're just going to water the world with light of faith, light of grace, light of kindness, of friendship, of loyalty, of honesty, of trust, of love. That you can make so many changes in the world if you're just going to be who that you are. So what if you're in the exile? So what if you're afraid? So what if you're not that rich? So what if you don't know how to succeed in business? So what if you're not married? So what if you don't have children? Look at what did you do have. Look at the full half part of, of the cup that you have. You have half of a cup full with water and you're worried about the other half. Instead of drinking the half that you have, and to see how useful it can be. Drink that half. You're going to have the power now to think how you're going to fill the, refill your cup. If you're not going to drink it because you're so worried to be who that you are and to enjoy from what that you have, you will die thirsty with, with water in your cup. You will never going to reach your destiny because you're afraid to admit in your failures, in your downs, in your fears. I'm telling you that if you're going to dare to stand in front of your fears, you're going to find out that they're not so bad. The fact that you're not dealing with your fears, that's what makes them be so frightening. You're telling stories to yourself. Your Yatsara is making them to be so, so terrifying and so horrible. Go, say the truth. You're not going to be hurt. Nothing going to happen to you. And if something going to shake, if something going to move, so what? So deal with that. 
So say I didn't want it to make no problems. I just said the truth. I'm ready to apologize if I hurt your feelings. If I made something wrong, I, I'm ready to listen. I'm just seeking for the truth. Maybe I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong. When you're going to do that, you're going to become to be who that you are. You will understand how much more there is to it. You're going to find out that you have a spring of wisdom that is life and exists inside of your soul, inside of your being. Springs of wisdom. Inner connection to the Creator through the channel that calls your soul.